how you doing? This is Fee down in the rough. How's your day going? Today we're doing Chatterday Saturday. So I'm going to catch up because I don't think I did one last week. I suppose I should look, shouldn't I? Last week I didn't do a Chatterday Saturday due to the fact that a uh, hmm, few things were happening <laughs> in life. So I'll give you a life, life update in a little bit. Uh, what I will do is this is the five panel from GBK. Oh, why can I never? GBFKE. GBFKE. Should remember that. For some reason, it, roll, it does roll off the tongue. So, this is the five panel. This tree is actually looking, you can see that it's a tree. Um, a little bit of weight on this side um, it's coming up okay I will say like I haven't done anything to put weight on to stretch this out or um, my hair I haven't even used the hair dryer so you can actually see how this side's raised this is coming down and then this is coming up again so when this gets mounted it's going to have to be stretched tight and I really it is going to be really stretched tight or it's going to have to be severely glued to get it to stay flat so it doesn't do that curving which it is doing um, but otherwise it's looking okay um, yeah I did have my issues with my the U and the hashtag um, but it's getting there it's getting there so I've nearly got one panel done that's what happens Turn around and get something. When I'm asked to review something, I want to be able to do it and show it. Say, yep, I've done it. This is my feelings. Um, and, you know, and get it as quick as I can. So then I can actually get back to enjoying the actual. <laughs> well, no, I just won't say I won't, didn't. I'm not enjoying this, but getting back to um, the prize ones that I so love working on. Um, so, yeah, so I'm going to continue to drill away. I will show you. Now, um, just if I go this way, you can see here. So this is the edge of the canvas. But this is a pretty neat creative tube that has been cut. Just to give that, if you're working with a big canvas, one of the things that's really good to do is get your, hold on, your hands onto a tube. So then it, when it bends over, you're not putting any extra bend or pressure on the diamond painting. But yeah, I just thought I'd share that one. And we'll go back to that way. Um, you will actually see here to the side, this is actually a trolley. This is where I put my drill stuff in. So when I'm working, that trolley wheels around. And I will, um, in about a week or so, I'm going to try and record my craft room because it's set up a little bit differently to how it was. I uh, made a few changes. Got a lovely new microphone since since then, uh, among other things. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start pulling the drills out and we'll have a little bit of a chat. How has your week or your fortnight been? I hope it has been better than ours in this household. <laughs> Hang on, oh, just trying to get that into a better position. Oh, am I making a queasy yet? And there we go, that's better. Um, yeah, now I've had, <clears throat> so Nathan and I have both had fun weeks. Uh, what I'm going to go through is what has happened in the craft world, um, the diamond painting in my channel world. So what's still yet to come up is I've got my diamond painting from Bonanza. So that's been, I've unboxed it. I haven't kitted it up yet, but I've unboxed it. And you will see that video on Monday. Okay, so that's what's coming up on Monday. Um... Then, so that's what's coming up Monday, which I actually haven't got that done. That's on my calendar. It's on this one. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, you'll see that on Monday. 
you do have the Sophie and Toffee the succulents box arrived so you will see that unbox on Tuesday um, so that's those those things um, I did finance Friday I did my budget and yeah that was interesting because I did that budget then a few things happened and it's like oh crap <laughs> I've already had to rework the budget, but flexibility, it works. I got it to work okay. Let's see if there's any other K's under there. Oh, okay, it's not K's, it's C's that I've got. That'll make it special, won't it? Um, so yeah, I've already had to rework it. Now, I'm thinking, I've got a hair here somewhere, sorry guys. And it's not one I'm on. Nathan's been in here. He loves interrupting while I'm doing stuff. Um, yeah, anyway. Um, just looking at the way things are going with the finance. I think I won't do the budgets on my channel. I might do the envelope stuffing. And probably celebrate some of the wins when I actually you know, have enough in the sinking funds for something that I want to do i.e. you know the simple things <laughs> um, I will beef that up a bit that's better um, so yeah so um, I might keep the envelope stuffing there but I don't think which will be only once a fortnight but I don't think I'll put any of the other finance things in um, yeah just just not quite sure if I should be doing it or not so We'll leave that go. I'll keep doing the envelope stuffing, um, which means you'll just get a finance Friday once every two weeks, which I think I'm producing enough videos at the moment. Yeah. Um, what else? I've got a few. No, I've got a few other packages arrived. Um, so I do have a few interesting things to show, um, which will be the following Monday. So, yeah, stay tuned for that one. <laughs> um, and that's about it for planning at this stage you will get um, so work at Wednesday I still work at Wednesday I'm just trying to work out what I did I don't think I've done anything for work at Wednesday I might have to get busy Sure, I've got something that I've done that I've, I had just have forgotten that I've filmed it. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, yeah, that was... Anyway, so the week, the last two weeks, I will say, Sophie and Toffee Live, where I did the polyhedral dice, was so much fun. And, you know, I get there mesmerised in what I'm doing. And then I look up, and there's no comments, and it's like, discovering that everybody else is mesmerized by what I'm doing <laughs> um, but it is so cool to do and then I'll pause this right here that was a long enough pause after I finished doing that I actually had a little bit of a play with the succulents box I didn't film any of it but let's see if we can get it to I did a B so this bee has already been named George. Gosh, 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 hang on. Try and get the camera just to focus on the bee only. So he got caught, he's been named George already. But they are so much fun to do with resin. That's done with UV resin. My hands are shaking too much for the camera to focus on it. So yeah, there he is. And then, now this one's a really, really bad effort, but it's still cute. Um, let's see, there we go. Is he gonna focus on him? I did a sheep. <laughs> um, so that is using UV resin. I had so much fun with these guys. So we have George, George has been named, but the sheep has not been named. Tempted to call him Barry. I don't know. But 
Um, I thought I would show you those uh, just quickly that that is UV resin that's a special gel type resin it's really oh excuse me it's it's really really cool to work with um cannot work with that with my blinds open i can tell you that much because it's set on me with one of the times i was working on it um but yeah that's the succulents box so i want to play with the succulents box in a live resin pour so um, we'll see how that goes um This Tuesday I am on night shift. Next Tuesday I am on day shift. So if I do a live pour, it will not be, if I do some live resin work, it will not be on a Tuesday. So keep an eye out. There might be a surprise live happen somewhere along the line. Um, just because I've gone, yeah, radio, let's go play. <laughs> But it's such a cool, such a cool box. And when you see it, this you'll see the box this Tuesday. It's Toffee Tuesday. You will see the box opened up this Tuesday. And you will see some really interesting stuff. Um, Mindy, if you actually are watching, this is the succulents box. <laughs> Make your own succulents. It's really cool. Mm. Okay. Um so yeah that's something yet to come up um so what else is going on um yeah took i'll play some footage here and hopefully you'll get a chuckle because i get a chuckle at times over this feet a couple of times what do you do hey what are you doing have you calmed down yet i know what you want your own feet what do you want what he wants is me to put those pink shoes on don't you pink shoes oh, i think you might so what have i done bo have i swapped my fluffy my warm gray fluffy slippers have i swapped them around You want to, you're going to, oh, look at this you are so good hang on you see what he is like when he wants to go for a walk there is no no i'm not taking you because he just bounces and bounces and jumps at you <laughs> it takes a lot to actually ignore him when he wants to be taken for a walk so i've got some point footage here um you will see some a couple of pink and gray galahs that are actually munching on the lawn they love eating grass um they have been when you get a, a flock of them through they have been known to decimate somebody's lawn uh, <laughs> yep and it's not just the top because they pick it pick the lawn up and, and pull it out by the roots yeah so um, so that's the pink and gray galahs you will also see a bit there where um, i talk about a crow and a willy wagtail 
So Willy Wagtail, I absolutely love Willy Wagtails. I see them on night shift. Um, they are around the building we work work at on, when we're on night shift. So I see them, you know, every week. I love them. But, oh, they're cheeky bugger, but cheeky birds. Um, some people call them a bad luck. Willy Wagtails can, uh, have been called bad luck because... If you have really young children and a willy wagtail gets, they get a, they, a young child sees a willy wagtail, the way a willy wagtail flits around is an enticing thing for a toddler to go and follow and chase. And kids have actually gone missing because they've been chasing a willy wag, following a willy wagtail. So some people do class them as bad luck. But I love them. They're cute. They're cute. Okay, come on. Bye, keep moving. <laughs> Jerky movements are because he is on the lead. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Bo, mind your manners and sit. Ah, 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 ah. Manners. Good boy. He's got the smell of something. We're in trouble now. He's got the smell of something. It's a pretty area. Come on. Okay. See that? Little pink and greys. And they love to pick on them. You can just see them. So that's both you can hear. Kicking things up. Isn't it? Come on. Well, he's still on it in energy, has energy. I keep the lead on him. <sighs> Rightio, buddy. Do you want that off? Are you going to sit? Are you going to sit? Do you want that off? Yes. Come on. off. Another little walk. we see in here <laughs> okay see if I can get it where is he right there the crow with a willy wag tail attacking him <laughs> oh come on
if I can find a picture, I'll find one of them. Hang on. So up in that tree, that's where the crow is. There's a, a willy wag tail somewhere in there annoying him. Come on, Bo! Come on! Bo! Oi! Come here, dog. You ladies say he's behaved. He's found something he really likes. And he's drooling on it. Come on. Bo. Come on. Come on. <laughs> There he goes. Okay, I'm going to have to turn this off and catch him. Um, yeah. So now we'll get to the other side of the week that was, or the fortnight that was. So in the last fortnight, I've been admitted to hospital three times and Nathan once so we've had a really really hard time <laughs> of things um, for me I ended up with a, a kidney infection um, the second time I ended up in hospital was actually I was at work and collapsed Nathan had to pick me up and I threw up in front of the boss you know all of the bad things that happen when you're sick and you've just got no control over. Um, but I'm all good. <laughs> I'm all good. The other was the discovery that Nathan has diabetes and extremely high blood pressure. And now we're going to have to manage that. But, you know, you get there. Um, you know, you don't realise, you know, like we, we, we're very lucky. We're very lucky. The fact that the only reason he was picked, it was picked up was because I was in hospital and they did a glucose test on me and I just had something in the back of the head that I reckon Nathan was but just couldn't pinpoint it. Um, you know, you hear the stories about people that drink a lot and we a lot and... Um, you know, just that in itself, you know, I used to think, oh, you know, I used to stir Nathan up and go, oh, you're diabetic, you know, you shouldn't be drinking that much. And, um, and you know, his response is, oh, I always drink like that. You know, he, has, he has always been a big drinker. But water, not soft drinks or anything like that or alcohol, water. He's a big water drinker. Um... But I just had this thing in the back of my head about the amount that he drank was just beyond <laughs> normal. Um, so when they did, they gave me the blood glucose test, I just went, oh, let's give this a go. Can you give, give him a test too? So they did, they tested him. Well, the nurse quietly tested him and then felt extremely guilty. She wished she hadn't done the test because as a duty of care, it was something that she had to get followed up on. <sighs> and all of that stuff. Yeah. You know, but she didn't do anything about it. You know, because, well, she tested him when she shouldn't have tested him, which is where the issue, some of the issue was. Uh, for, 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 for it. But Nathan's turned around. I think the last time, she, not the last time she came around, but one of the times she came around doing her checks on me. Um, Nathan's turned around and gone I have made an appointment to see the doctor I will be seeing him this afternoon and she turned around and went oh thank you <laughs> so yeah um, so yeah we went into the doctors and 
you know, Nathan's gone in. We've got, we've both gone in, and it's like I've got high blood sugar. My just had my sugar tested, and that's a bit high. We don't know what the reading is. Just the nurse, the nurse was said it was high, and I needed to come and see a doctor. Oh yeah, how's that? You know, when we went went through the whole process of how come he got his blood test, his sugar tested, and it was like, oh, I'm in. I was in hospital. And I was like, oh. just throws everything out of whack when you've got two people going to hospital in the same week. Um, but yeah, uh, very very interesting process. So now we've gone through the doctor. We've seen him a couple of times now. Actually, I like him. He seems to be what Nathan needs. Nathan just needs to see him a little bit more. Um, yeah, that's totally a different matter. Um, he um, yeah, it's it's we're having the food discussions at the moment. So yeah, but yeah, the doctor was just you know Nathan's blood pressure was you know the, the doctor was like going you know you. You should be in a diabetic coma. You, you, you were this close. You're about to have a stroke with your blood pressure that level. You're going to have a stroke. Um, yeah, it's quite interesting and scary to have a doctor just react the way he is. Nathan didn't didn't think he was serious. Didn't realise how serious he was talking. But yeah, so now it's just a case that we just manage everything as it comes along. He hmm, won't be too bad. Won't be too bad now. He's he's not in the hospital or anything like that. You know, it, it's type two diabetes, and as people keep saying, oh, it's reversible with diet. It's reversible. Uh, yep, we will. He Nathan is just <laughs> his determination to beat this is phenomenal. Um, every one of his t glucose tests that he's had has always been going down. They've been dropping and dropping and dropping, you know. But just gradually, you can see this trend. And then it went up. Oh, and then he analysed absolutely everything he had to try and figure it out, which is understandable. So now he's trying to yeah it's it's a race now it's it's a competition to get it down and keep it down you know which is good but can be a bit unhealthy too right. but everything he eats he, he's going through and researching to find out what's what we get hello fresh meals so he um He, we looked at the, tonight's dinner and it's like, oh, there's a lot of sugars in that. Where is the sugar? Let's locate the sugar so we don't give you anything that's got too much in the way of the sugars in it. You know, um, yeah, so we identified some of it. And it's really funny because you get there, one of the things you know we, we looked at is pumpkin or squash it's the fiber is good the fiber is good for diabetics but then the sugar content in the squash or the pumpkin is not good so you get there going well why is why is something saying it's good for me yet another is saying it's not um so yeah we've still yet to go to the what do they call them the diabetes educator and what's the other one called? Oh, the the actual dietitian themselves. We're yet to do any of that. So um, Nathan seems to be in no rush. So he's booked. He's just turned around and said, "Well, I'm not about. I can't go see somebody until this date, which is four weeks away. So for the next four weeks, we're going to be humming and harring." That will be up until the point that he goes and sees his doctor and his doctor will say, haven't you been yet? You don't have a choice. You have to go. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, we'll see what happens. See what happens. <sighs> but yeah, so at the moment it's like, oh, can I eat this? Can I eat this? Yes, I can. No, I can't. This up. Uh, this one saying yes, I can. This one saying no, I can't. Ugh. If he actually went to the dietitian, we'd find out a bit more. Um, but like we went to, we were very lucky. We went and did. We started going having Hello Fresh meals, which is we get all the ingredients and the recipes, and we cook our dinners ourselves. Um, I hate cooking and I lack imagination when it comes to plant meal planning. So HelloFresh made a big difference. We actually started eating healthier. You know, I was I was a big one for the pasta dishes and the casseroles and the, some. I cook some pretty unhealthy meals, <laughs> um, but that's just because I like what I was eating. But, you know, we went to the Hello Fresh, and so we've been eating some really healthy meals. So that in itself has actually been a blessing that we've... That if... But one of... You know, the question is, what could have happened if we... What would things have been like if we hadn't gone down and started eating so healthy for the last few months? You know, that was a big thing was just like, you know, we are so lucky that we had started the healthy journey. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, next. Let's go and do the Ds. I'm gonna tackle this whole one sheet in one go, I think. Um, so yeah, um, we'll say thank you everybody for, for thoughts, prayers, kind words. Um, he's going to be fine I don't know whether I will be dealing with him but <laughs> he will be fine oh, he's yeah we just have to adapt and learn and um, yeah we'll just see how we go um, what else is going on not much else is going on pretty quiet um, so I, I had work Friday, Saturday, Sunday was my night shift. Uh, Nathan picked me up about four o'clock Sunday morning, so I didn't do Sunday night shift. Um, and I'm actually filming this Friday, so you'll see this, uh, or this will get to come up on Saturday. Um, and I didn't work today because I already had that booked off so that we could... I could run around with Nathan getting things organised with his uh, with doctors and all the specialists and all that. So, you know, had to take time off for that. So, I've, yeah, I've just about had a week. Well, I shouldn't say a week off because of, uh, hospitals are not having, to, is not the equivalent to having time off, I can tell you that much. And I think everybody realises that. Um, but yeah, that's that's that side of it. I think everything else is pretty quiet. Um, so some of the comments that I've been getting, I will go through some of them. So because I had an almighty finish the other day, I finished Geisha. Geisha number five. Geisha number five. OMG. She looked beautiful. Um, she's she's just right there beside me. <laughs> uh, still up on that board, clamped to that board. Um, I don't want to roll her up and I don't want to hang her up in the wardrobe. Um, so she's quite fine there where she is. Uh, so that she was, that was the Royal Diamond Painting. Now, they, their website, when you order from them, down the bottom, so you pick an image, down the bottom to the right a bit, actually is a listing to say, if it's this size, you will get 
so many in between this and this amount of colors if it's this size you'll get this many colors roughly this many colors so they with their diamond paintings um, the bigger you go the better the detail in a lot of cases unless that you go bigger and you don't get the big change in colors so by having um, 60 colors well that one was 60 yes yeah, 60 different colors um, it gave a good definition but if that had been a 40 color diamond painting at that size the definition and the delicacy of her wouldn't have her hands and her face you know, all the features that wouldn't have come out so one of the things i do like about royal diamond painting is that they they change the amount of colors to suit the size of the image or size of the diamond painting which is absolutely brilliant absolutely brilliant because you get good results i did anubis and he was he was almost as big um, he was a square and beautiful results there uh, i will not show you anubis though because I found out that that is a copyrighted image um, so I won't put it on my channel but yeah I will order from draw diamond painting again um, <laughs> definitely will be ordering from them again did like them um, yeah uh, what else La yes she she was stunning so that was done on particle board so that's actually acoustic particle board um, which she's actually on the on a bookcase to the left of me um, I've to told Nathan where I want it to go and he turned around and told me no you don't want it there you want it here <laughs> and he said you need to get a couple more of the same size and then they'll look really good here and I went I want it here <laughs> Oh, but what you should do and I'm like going, I want it here and he kept going and I ended up saying to him are you going to tell me how I want things in this craft room or are you going to design it all for me <laughs> he walked out of the room <laughs> uh, yeah it's like this is where I want you to put it I have mounted it and framed it it's on its way it's already there you just need to put a screw in the wall um, and I mean who will put the screw perfectly center in the way yeah he will get out there with his measuring tape and his uh, spirit level and he will line it up absolutely perfectly there will be nothing wrong with it and it will be perfectly spaced and everything uh, but yeah, actually having to tell him, it's like, well, are you going to tell me where I want things in my craft room or, or <laughs> yeah. So hopefully he's not working for another couple of days. I'm thinking I might put the picture on the kitchen table and then hopefully when I come home, it will be up on the wall. Can only hope. Because once that one's up, then I go and work on oh, kimono, the other Daimoon shop one, the kimono, which was the Kathy Delance uh, promotion. Um, I have got, I want to frame her, I want to mount her exactly the same way, well, almost the same way. I'll actually be trimming the plan is to trim her so you get a sneak peek of what's going to happen to her so this is a very big piece of board she's red so what I'm going to do she's going to be pinned onto a red board but she'll be central so what's going to happen is she will that red will be all the way around her and I will be just basically trimming along so it's just diamond painting and um, what I may have to do is 
still thinking about how I'm going to do it, but I may end up having to actually lift a couple of drills off so I can put a staple down and then actually glue the drills on top. That's my plans at this stage so that then I don't have to worry about the glue coming off because the particle board, the glue might not hold it for long enough. Um, whereas if I staple it and then I glue the drills over top of the staples, um, it then hides the staples because I don't want the staples to be seen, obviously. Um, so yeah, that's that's the next plan. So you'll see that job as well. Um, I have another project I am about to start with resin. Um, kind of crafty, kind of not. Now, our <laughs> I am going to be. Sorry, it's, I just heard, heard it's raining. Wow, it's raining. Um, I Nathan has. Um, move things around in the front room. He's finally been home enough where it's really annoying him. So his little man cave at the front of the house. He moved the furniture around, the TV around, and it's like, I don't want this coffee table in here anymore. Get rid of it. Hmm. And I turned around and I said, well, I was actually planning to do something with that. And then we can sell it. If it works, we can sell it. Otherwise you can chop it up into pieces of wood. So our little coffee table that we've got in the front room, it's not that little. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not that little. But our coffee table, it's so, the surface, the top of it is just so um, worn. So the plan is to actually sand that back and re-coat, but put a, put a coat of clear resin over top to give it a glass looking finish. And then um, if, if it turns out good, we've got two choices. We can sell it or we can give it to somebody. Or we might, he might like want to keep it once it turns, if it turns out good. Who knows? Um, but yeah, because I finally, <laughs> with everything that happened, there's, one, there's a thing that I want to do that he's, I've tried to talk to him about and it's like, oh no, not now, not now, because you know he hasn't been that long, which is understandable. But I've finally told him my plan for a table. So not a, a big table, just a small table. Um, more to go into into his man cave, a table for his laptop to go on. So not that big. But I want to do two, which uh, involves what they call river resin and some timber. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just a trial. I want to do something. It's so that's that's still yet on the cards. It's going to cost, not including the material um, to make the actual table itself, but I'm looking. It's going to cost about. $500 for me to make this one a ta little ta laptop table for him and I also want a little not a step but a stair type thing um, for the front door uh, a stool type thing for the front door for all these deliveries that I have um, so they can be put on the stool and not on the ground um, so yeah we'll slowly get there slowly get there but one of the things about having a budget is going righty out. This is what I want to do. This is how I'm going to get there. Um, so that's that side of things. Now with the resin stuff, that will be coming into work at Wednesday. Um, what else did I actually achieve? That I videos that I've put out in comments that I that people have made. Um, Hang on, my computer has just gone and had a hissy. Okay. Quite a few people uh, love what I've done. 
with the fees and the geisha. I actually had, I was very surprised. Hello Dawn. Um, hope you're still watching this. Um, she, she's commented on a video that is like, I did it about a year ago, um, about using how do you, how do you, how I use multiplaces. Um, you know, as you, when she, when I saw the comment, it's like, oh wow, I haven't used multiplaces for a long time. Um, which I thought this was a good spot to address that as well, is multi-places. You probably see that I do one drill at a time. <laughs> it doesn't slow me down. I actually found that multi-places slowed me down because I was turning around and re-straightening up. So you put your cut, put your three down or your four down or however many down and then you'd have to go back and straighten them up. So you will find that when you watch me, I check a board just about all my colors. Just about all my colors that I'm using, I check a board them as much as possible. So that that helps my drills still line up. And actually you can see, you can actually see here, like I'm checkerboarding here even. So I've got these, and then I'm doing the ones beside it. Check it's that's my way of getting drills to line up. Um, and yeah, it's I don't know something that I found that I prefer over multi placing. I found multi places were I was getting through things. I was getting things done quick. Don't get me wrong, but I was then looking at them going oh. I can't get that line straight and if you some canvases you work on if you can't get it straight if you don't get it straight in the first place it's pretty hard to straighten it down the track because or when you've completed it because the glue has held it um, which is what you want to have happen but yeah um, so yeah, that was where I would see, see yeah, Dawn had actually put a comment on something that I'd filmed so long ago. It's like, wow, you know, so it's just somebody looking at my, my trips, my ticks, my tricks and tips, which is really cool. Hopefully, uh, everybody that's looking at those is finding them very handy. Um, now, <laughs> I am so sorry. There is, I have to do an apology out here um, to Marilyn because her comment, I almost had a heart attack when you started to sump, dump the second colour in the glass and kept pouring more in. Yeah, and keep understand, she understands why, but it goes against the whole of my, you might need it someday. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I can I can understand that you might need it someday feeling. I used to do be like that. Um, I used to be, get really nervous about not having spares, and you know I'm still keeping my squares. I haven't done it for a while, but I've still got my square drills. I still have I still have round. But I'm just not keeping excess. So if I've already got like 154, which, no, not this one. What's this one? 3740. I know that I've got heaps of 3740. So there's no point in keeping more. Um, I have run out of storage. Um, yeah. When I get to and de-kit, I have to. I actually have to look at what space I've got um, for my leftover drills. And I questioned why. Why am I keeping these drills? Um, yeah, it's quite an interesting thing to go. Why am I keeping these drills? Uh, you know, because nowadays, if companies don't provide enough drills um, 
I can't remember. Oh, I, I will say I, I have been lucky with the companies I have purchased from in the last, I will say, 12 months. It's been a while since I've had to be, that I've been short of drills. Paint with diamonds, that was the one that I was short of drills. But otherwise, um, I was ne I never ran out of any drills with any other diamond paintings that I can remember. I know I got close with some, but I don't recall ever running out. Um, yeah. Hmm. But yeah, you know, I, I just, I don't see the point in keeping any. Whereas, um, who was it's doing a haid? Someone's got plans to do a haid. Um, so they're keeping their spare drills and definitely keep your spare drills for that. Uh, that's what I've done with my squares. I had so many square leftover drills that, yep, I'm turning mine, you know, I'm using mine from my custom. Um, you know, to do to my my blank. Yeah, everybody will say everybody keeps or doesn't keep their drills for their own personal reasons. Um, but yes, yeah, sorry, Marilyn, didn't mean to give you a heart attack. <laughs> it's quite funny to de kit so quickly. It's like, yeah, okay, I want to keep this, this, and this, and everything else can just go in a container. They are such quick times to de kit. Um, I can remember who was it? Early in the piece, very early. Um, Stitcherista, she used to do when she worked on her partials and her small diamond paintings. You know, she would always throw hers out, and I was at the same feeling. It was like, oh, you might need them, but no. Uh, um, yeah, I yeah I, I will admit I was the same. You might need them. You never know. You might need them. I have, you know, a couple of things whereby companies that I've purchased from I haven't had any issues for a long time. I also have a store that I can drive to, and this is where the other side of it is. I've got a store that I can actually drive to, and pick up replacement drills or actually I think they're shut for COVID well, they might be open again now um, but you know I can contact them and get whatever colors I want and I'll have them within the week you know that's having that gets rid of that fear of oh what if I run out um, yeah but I will say every color, every round DMC that I have used, I do have some in store. Um, okay. Oh, okay. I just got a couple of these. I think that's about it. Um, <laughs> I will say. <laughs> One of the comments when I did uh, Lafay's, I did that one, and you know, with the staple gun, <laughs> Time Moon Shop, they did do a cool comment going, <laughs> stapled that like a boss. <laughs> uh, stapled it like a boss. I'll tell you what, I had a lot of fun using that gun. You get angry, use one of those. Jeez, that takes out the. Oh. Yeah. Um, otherwise, what else have I got of interesting comments? Because normally I used to go through and talk to you all. Um, and yeah, the glue residue eraser. So that glue thing that I had, which is just here. Um, Marilyn's just there and said it's, it's called a glue and residue eraser. Um, what I wash it with is just hot soapy water. And that's all I use to wash it. Nice and simple. That's all you need to break down that glue. Just that little bit. Ooh. Okay. Um, whoops. No, I haven't finished with the ends. 
got used to using the Harbour Freight containers. Tap them before you open them. Thank you, Cindy. <laughs> um, and there's another one there. But I think that's about it. I'm going to continue to drill. I'm watching lots of YouTube, catch up on what's going on in the world. Um, and I will, I think I will leave that there. So, uh, Gems, thank you for joining me on this little rambling bit of a chat today, as I say. Um, thank you for watching. Um, how's your week been? How's your fortnight been? Let me know. It's always nice to read people's comments. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't think there's anything else I can cover. So yeah, comments, thumbs up, thumbs down if you have to. Um, but yeah, leave me a comment. And uh, don't forget, if you are new to my channel, hit the subscribe button and then the bell so then you're notified when I do and upload or when I do go live um, still I added some things to my channel I'm still working out whether they stay um, I have some that I definitely will not continue on um, but yeah keep watching I always do quite a bit of different stuff and there will be a craft room tour coming up in the near future Obviously, it will be after Nathan has put up the picture on the wall for me over that direction. <laughs> because my walls are still bare. Um, yeah, and I am rambling once again. Um, but you'll be able to see whether there's a difference in the craft room from my last tour to this, the next tour. Because they're always cool to see how people's craft rooms actually change. And also when you add new stuff, add new crafts, and I'm waffling again, but when you add new crafts, you then have to rearrange things to suit, to bring all the crafts together into one place. Hmm, that was a waffle. So yeah, gems, I will say thank you for watching and keeping me company while I drill away. And we'll say bye for now.